What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and I just wanted to start off by wishing everyone a nice, safe, and happy holiday winter type season. Uh, hope you guys got to spend some time with loved ones, got some time off, a little bit of vacation, and some snow, depending on where you are in the world, or country, or wherever, yeah, the world. Um, so on today's video, I am actually going to be taking apart my gamepad here, because even though I have migrated over to Team PC, I still like to use a gamepad every now and then, especially for something like uh, uh, Sega All-Stars Racing, um, Brawlhalla, just any kind of like platform or anything like that where I feel like it's better with a controller. Anyway, so as you can see here, my left analog stick is a little bit worn out. If I walk this in casually, nice and slow the autofocus won't trip out there we go so i had actually this is like some um, mounting putty that i had put on there because i had um a spidey grip on both um sticks so what i had done was i yeah i put it on there to kind of fill that gap because otherwise if i put it on there because this um the little uh i guess you can say it's the stock grip it completely came off so it's just like the hard plastic underneath so um and then the inside of the spidey grip itself is pretty smooth so it kind of was like sliding around on the analog stick and that's not very conducive to success <laughs> so i had went on newegg and i found a uh, kind of like a generic like replacement shell it I would assume it works. It looks exactly the same size and everything. So yeah, we'll see how that looks. And I got a bunch of buttons and everything too. So I might swap out some of the buttons as well, because why not? This thing's a little old, you know, the buttons have been there. They're kind of, they kind of got that nice little mushy, like just past like, you know, the prime like wear stages, you know? So I think it's time to swap those out. Some of them are like not really bouncing back when I push down on them. So yeah, I'm gonna switch the camera angle and we will get to it. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, everybody, here we are. And so I have my handy little um, screwdriver here, which my fiance actually got me. And I think she actually, I'm not sure where she got it, but um, it's pretty nifty. It has like a bunch of different um, heads you can put on it. So, and the best part is, is that the, the actual screwdriver bit is magnetized. So I can, at least I believe it's magnetized. Um, it should be magnetized. Yep, totally is. Look at that. Well, it's kind of like a, it's not very strong, but I don't need to be like super crazy. But anyway, so here we are. I'm just removing the, uh, the screws that hold this faceplate thingy in place. So let's do that, pop that off. Okay. All right, guys, sorry, I had a little bit of a difficulty getting these screws out, plus one of them fell off of the desk and I felt something hit my foot, so I had to um, go and investigate that. So here we are. The gamepad itself is now apart. Um, I've honestly never seen the insides of one of these before, so I'm actually, this is pretty, <laughs> this is kind of cool for me. When I was a kid, I used to like, um, collecting broken things and uh, I would collect broken things just for the reason of taking them apart so I can figure out just like what they were made of and how they worked and stuff like that. I don't know. It was kind of like a weird little habit that I had as a kid. Well, not really a habit. It was just something I did. But um, now that I'm looking at this, I might actually um, keep these, the, the bumpers, because the bumpers are still good. Um, and maybe just um, kind of do a mix of black and red because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but those are my favorite color combinations as you can tell from my um, my uh, mouse mat here. And then also the case on my computer is, it's a Rosewell case, it's red and black and it's got red LED fans in it. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite color combinations. It's red, black, and white. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like everything looks cool. Um, there we go. So I got those grips on there. So, let's see. I think, how do I go about, oh, okay. That just pops out just like that. 
So then I would assume everything else would do the same. And just yank that motor out. Okay, cool, cool. Um, what's this? Does this look like... Okay. This... I wonder what this is for. I guess we'll figure... Oh, I see. This is this. This goes on here. It sure does. All right. All right, guys, sorry about that. That actually ended up being a lot more complicated than it I really think it needed to be. Um, one thing I had actually noticed is when I had actually taken everything apart and gotten all the parts um, like all spread out and everything, I realized that the actual replacement parts were for a, um, a, a wireless controller. So the pieces are gonna be a little bit different. Who am I kidding? They're gonna be significantly different. So certain buttons actually didn't um, match up with this like the shoulder buttons the bumpers for example and then the um the triggers i was able to but there was like more of like a mechanism in there and i couldn't get it apart but um anyways so i was what i was able to do was i actually switched out the um oh, uh, my drawer closed on my cable here whoops okay um so i was able to switch out the analog sticks as you can see they're nice and red and i switched out the d-pad as well um the uh face buttons it was kind of the same deal because there are, um, cause some of these face buttons, let me try to get that in there. As you might be able to see, there are little, um, edges in there. So they're, they're made to fit in a certain way. And then there were certain buttons that just wouldn't fit in there. So same with the start and the mode buttons, they'll work. They're actually a completely different size. So it, who knows, maybe they were replacement parts for like a certain knockoff controller, or maybe they were actually replacement parts for a legitimate Xbox controller. I don't think they were just because they were um, different colors and whatnot. However, I put everything back together. I wasn't able to swap everything out like I wanted to, but I mean, have a look. It, it, I think it looks a little cooler than it used to. So there it goes right there. You know, I might just buy, get like a skin for it or something like that. Or maybe it's something you could even have printed out. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm just going to plug this back in, make sure that it is working and we will be back in a little bit. All right. What up, everybody? Okay, Nero the Hero back again. And I am just giving this um, controller a little bit of a test. This is actually a game called Cross Code. I'm gonna skip through the dialogue, but um, I'm actually planning on doing a review of this at some point because this game is, as you can see, it's, um, I wanna say it's like 16-bit style graphics. And let's dodge, okay, and yeah, okay, cool, yeah. So I didn't, the good news is I didn't ruin my controller. Everything seems to be working appropriately. Let's just move on a little bit more. This is kind of like the tutorial stage. So you start out as this um, pretty awesome uh, hero girl right here. There we go. Oop. Okay, cool, yeah. So yeah, as I said, this uh, controller is working out for me just fine. So that is very, very awesome. I, um, since I got you guys here, I might as well talk about some stuff I'm planning to do in the future. Um, I actually ordered a new chair, so I'm going to be unboxing and putting that together. Hopefully it will um, end up being a nice chair and either way, whether it ends up being good or bad, I'll let you guys know. Um, let's do my super duper amazing combo move right here. Yeah. Just showing you guys some, uh, some of the cool stuff you get access to in the future. Um, hey guys, just wanted to wrap up real quick. Thank you so much for checking out the video today and watching me struggle with this gamepad a little bit. You know, the, the really the main focus was to get the analog stick swapped out anyways, so 
it ended up working out just fine. So um, yeah, thanks again for checking me out. Um, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite game to play with a gamepad is. Is it Sonic? Is it Mario? Is it Smash Brothers? Is it Street Fighter? Just let me know. Hit me up. Let's have a conversation. Um, stay tuned for those unboxing videos. I'm going to be unboxing the Red Dragon Karura and the Serta office chair that I had ordered recently. So those should be coming in towards the end of the month. So that's probably going to be more like a January video, a nice new year, a nice video for the new year, basically. So, all right, you guys, um, until then, you guys take care of yourselves and each other and do some heroic today. This is Near the Hero signing out. Peace. It kind of looks like I have like a controller mask right now and I'm like a, I'm a superhero. I'm a controller man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm taking that one out. Okay.